Hello and welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be teaching you how to change the height or scale of your avatar. Today I'm going to be using Unity 2019, but please keep in mind this also works in Unity 2018. The avatar we have here today is Gray by Yuri, which will be in the link in the description as always. Without further ado, let's get started. Now I want to keep in mind this is more of a beginner tutorial, it's more simple, but it is still a tutorial that, you know, people have questions for. So I want to share my knowledge with you. Let us say you finally imported your avatar and you've noticed the height and you're like, I want to make this taller or I want to make this smaller from either the idiots, biddiest to the biggest avatar size you can think of. I'm going to be teaching you how to do that. On your left hand side, click on your avatar in the hierarchy system until on your right hand side, you see the inspector. From here, you are going to see your scale, which is in the tab transform underneath rotation. The scale works on three axes. Because this is not a two-dimensional object, yet a three-dimensional object, of course we are going to need to work on three axes. Length, width, and height is the best way to put this. From here, we can either turn this number up or turn the number down. The biggest thing we have to remember is because we want this avatar even on all dimensions, we need to make sure these numbers are all the same. So making her smaller, let's go 0 0.7, 0 0.7, and we'll look from the side, she's wider, and we can go 0 0.7. Now, we successfully changed the avatar's scale, but we still need to change one more thing, which is the viewpoint. The viewpoint is what you are going to see when you are inserting yourself in game, where your eyes are, since we do not use the actual eyes of the avatar. Meaning that since our little viewpoint, which is this gray circle right here, is so high above the head, that is what we are going to see, which obviously we do not want. So we are going to pull this viewpoint down. And the easiest way to do that is to literally remove only a few, few, few numbers. Now, we are going to go down to our view, which is in VRC avatar descriptor, and look for our view position. Again, there is the X, the Y, and the Z scale, our vertical, horizontal, and length, or width or whatever you'd like to call it. We need to change the Y scale because it is on the vertical axis, our axis that goes up and down. For the most part, we do not need to touch any of these axes at all. For the beginning, of course. If you are going taller, you are going to want to make the Y scale go up in numbers. If you had made the avatar smaller, the best way to do that is to go to the all the way to the back and start deleting numbers or letters, pardon me, until your viewpoint drops down. Now, see how this is still too high? We're gonna delete it and go 0 0.8, 0 0.9, and find the best place. So 0 0.8, and let's see, we want it to go slightly more up, so five. We're going to look from this side and see the best place to put it. Let's put it slightly more up to 0 0.6, so it is right between the eyes. Now, it is still more forward than we want it to be, but because our axis going back is our Z scale, we are going to start deleting these numbers. Now, the viewpoint is inside the head, so we can simply just start adjusting whatever we want. 0 0.5 looks optimal. Pull it out a bit more to 0 0.5, let's try 8 or 7 or 6. And now we have made the viewpoint right between the eyes. Now, whatever I showed you here, you are going to do the complete opposite of when you make an avatar taller. So the Y scale is going to start going up in numbers instead of down. The Z scale will still probably have to place itself more forward or more backwards depending on where the viewpoint finds itself by the time you reach close between the eyes. I genuinely hope this helped and I hope you have a great day.